Now, how can you import the data coming from a table? If I use a previous uh, example, you know, with my lions and giraffe, imagine you have a table with each line in the giraffe or a lion, you wrote the species in a column, the age in another one, the sex, and obviously you have a column for latitude and longitude or x, y. Okay, because obviously if you have a table that you want to import in your GIS project, you need some coordinates. So let me show you how you can do it with an example. I have here a big data set of earthquake. So you can see it's earthquake recorded from whew, the past 2000 years ago, more than that. And then the more recent one this year, I mean two years ago from now. In Greece, they say about uh, the casualty, destroyed house, etc., etc. A lot of information, the magnitude here, Greece, etc., etc. But the most important is latitude, longitude. You have two information about the coordinate of each line who are uh, uh, earthquake. So you will transform each earthquake, each line, in one point, and you can, because you have latitude, longitude of this point. How can you do it in QGIS? Let's go. So, let's start a new project. Uh, if you have a new project, my advice, at least put a background, because we, this will force your next layers to have uh, a proper... Um, projection, projection. You remember video number four or five? I talked about that. How oh, important is it to have the same coordinate? Otherwise, your layers won't fit. So, okay, I have a background. Then I want to create, a, to add a new layer, which is text layer, because a CSV, a table, will be actually uh, a text with separation with a comma or things like that. Let's have a look. So here, for example, I will precise which table I will use. Here I have two examples, one with text, one with CSV. Let's take this one. Okay. And then, oh, let me do it again because it was I want to start from the beginning. It was already here. Had layer. Had delimited text layer. Ah, again. Voila. Okay. Virgin one. Then it will ask you, okay, what do you want to load? Look into your computer. Here I will I will load this CSV table. Double click. Layer name. This is the name of the automatic name of uh, the CSV. Then if you click CSV, sometimes it will recognize automatically your table. Here, have a look in sample data, you can see that it doesn't recognize. Here you see in a line there is all the headers but separated with a comma. So explain to him that you have a delimiter. Quite often you will write this you can change you can do that you can do you see if i to this one use this one it's not properly recognized so i will write this comma and then here in sample data you can check each column are properly uh, separated very nice and here you have latitude and longitude somewhere you have to fill it uh, manually okay but usually it recognizes it. It will recognize a X or a longitude. If it doesn't recognize, it's probably because the coordinate system is not uh, the same what it is expecting. Because coordinate can be expressed in degree, minute, seconds, but it can be also expressed uh, as a DSM, but in another way. In here, it's another way. So unclick this one, and ooh, automatically you see you recognize. Ah, yeah, yeah, I, rec I recognize where is your longitude and where is your latitude. 
if you wrote in your table a y x you will recognize but if you wrote something else you will to you will have to enter manually which y is your column here okay if needed you can custom delimiters usually you will recognize that that, that. you see space comma and then here you can check this is a well recognized here also so you have to check that x and y are properly uh, attributed and you can go you will add it appear on the background you can close and ta -da! you see now you have object point object where each point is a earthquake okay so again if I select one point it will provide information you see magnitude tsunami causing Canada we don't know about the number of deaths because it was probably a long time ago etc 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 okay